Hi Libra, welcome back to my channel, The Light of Grace, and this is Grace. It's time for another Money Job Life reading, and this will be for the month of May 2023. <sighs> time flies, huh, Libras? Okay, well, first of all, I want to say thank you, Libra, for your love and support, for not unsubscribing yet. Thank you, and for my new viewers, I'm hoping that there is something here about this reading that might resonate with you. And if it does, please like, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell button so you can be notified of any new readings that I have for you. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading. Not everything here might resonate. Take what resonates, drop that's not. And it's for others to hear. And I do not sugarcoat. Okay? So this is the Libra money reading, Libra with job reading, Libra no job reading, and life reading. These are the gift from the divine and the universe that's going to be coming from you. Or you're going to be receiving this May 2023. And let's, before we start the reading, let's cleanse your energy, my energy, and the energy of this space for your highest good, okay? And if you're sensitive to sound, please adjust the volume of your phone. Thank you. Money reading for Libra. What's coming your way? You have the seven of earth. Clarifying it with the knight of pentacles. The ace of swords in reverse. The ace of wands in reverse. The seven of cups in reverse. The Four of Wands in reverse. Advice, guidance, and messages from the Divine in the Universe. You have the Fork in the Road. It's time to take action. And the, and the Nine of Swords. With this Eight of Swords in Reverse, Ace of Wands in Reverse, Seven of Cups in Reverse, Four of Wands in Reverse, and adding this Nine of Swords. Money is going to be a little bit of a problem for you, Libra. This may, I'm sorry to say, like what I said, I do not sugarcoat. For some of you, you're waiting for some answers about something that that's regards to money. You're waiting for answers and it's stressing you out. Because you haven't heard from them or, or from whatever that you're working on. It could be you're, you're trying to get some loan or you're, you're borrowing money from somebody or you're waiting for some sort of a lump sum or inheritance. Whatever this may be, you're waiting for some sort of an answer or a clarity or clarity about money situation. And it's stressing you out because it's 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 really putting some sort of instability into your finance so you're stressed stressing out and you're having a hard time sleeping at night okay you're, you're overwhelmed with this and you're you're wishing and dreaming that you find the answer now with this ace of one this is about uh you're desiring something and you're not attaining it it seems like you are desiring to bring stability and security into your finance but it seems like you're not getting anywhere you're not getting anywhere it's yes you do take action you're working on it but it seems like you're you're in a slow pace right now slow pace right now it seems like it's either you're trying to tread carefully with this financial issue that you are dealing with or you are slow in 
in in working on this problem because you're still kind of waiting for some sort of a clarity or some opportunity to kind of put this into rest you know So money is really slow for you, Libra. I'm just trying to think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Advice from the divine, you have fork in the road here. I feel that with this, it's time to take action. I think these two energies are working together as a team, okay? I feel that there is a need to take action for your Libra. Libra, did I say Virgo? Almost say Virgo, but Libra, it's time for you to take action. This is, this is where you decide, are you going to go left, right, straight, or go back? But for sure, you don't want to go back. I mean, you want to go somewhere more like forward right this is about making decision this is about you're you're in a crossroad it, it, it obviously you're in a crossroad and you don't know what to do with this but it's going to require you to make a decision it's going to require you to make a decision now with this seven of earth as the energy coming your way libra i do feel that there is a need of analyzing or kind of sorting things this sort out this situation there is a need to look into something because maybe you're looking at it in a different way i'm not saying it's the wrong way more like in a different way there is this there is this need of focus reconsidering uh analyzing um It's also going to require to be patient, to be nurturing with this situation. It's not going to be an energy where you have to jump and do this, you know. You have to, to really think about it. This is, you're in a crossroad. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to require you to sort this thing out, okay? It's going to require you to look into the situation. Maybe you're doing something here that is your maybe you're playing safe with what you're doing because you don't want to screw things up maybe okay but with that it's playing safe you're not finding the real answer here i think here do you have to take a little leap of faith on doing things that you're not comfortable this is getting out of your comfort zone okay maybe you have to do something different about the situation in order to make your finance better or in or in order well, i cannot talk or in order for you to solve this financial issue that you're having okay that you're not so clear about you need to do some refocusing or readjustment that's what i'm getting with the seven earth okay let's go to libra with job what's coming your way libra with job you have the king of fire clarify with the moon in reverse the hierophant in reverse the page of pentacles in reverse the king of cups upright advice guidance and just sorry for the interruption okay what i was saying serendipity balance spirituality and practicality and the three of wands
with this king of cup here telling me that you love your work you love your work but sometimes you don't show how much you love your work because you have to you know just because but you love your work for sure but there is something happening at work with this with these three cards being in reverse this may i do feel that some of the stuff might not go well with you at work having the page of pentacles something that maybe you're trying to initiate you're trying to start this may 2023 at work it seems like it's not working the way you want it to be I think you're trying to do something different with the higher font here in reverse. You're trying to do something different. For some of you, you're trying to do something different in here at work. You're maybe trying to rearrange the system at work. Maybe you're trying to be different. You, you Maybe you have a way of doing things at work. Maybe you're not, you don't believe in rules. You, you, the way you work is not traditional. There's something about you that you're doing something different and you're flaunting it. You're showing it to people with the moon here. You, you're not hiding it. You're like, you have this energy that you're like, you have your chest out and say, yes, I love my work. I am here to work. I am good. You know, like you're doing this. Yeah, I'm going to do this. It's like you have a way of doing things at work. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it works, but who cares, Care Bear? It seems like you're, work, you're doing it. You're exuding that energy of you're not fearing anyone. But yes, I do admit that sometimes, you know, there's some stuff that's happening that you're working on things and you're using the way you you're comfortable using or you the way you think it's right for you but sometimes it just does not work sometimes your charm does not work but for most of the time it does you are a happy person at work for most of the time and you do for sure balance spirituality and practicality you work but there is this spiritual spirituality involved with it you know i'm saying that you're working but then you have this spirituality kind of working together with your practicality what i'm trying to say is like okay you go to work you work hard but you're exuding this energy of positivity you're exuding this energy of joy and love you have this energy, calmness, there's this, there's this, bleh, there is this energy of calmness within you. Emotional control, like you have this, you have this mastery of your emotion, you can call, control your emotion. You're following your intuition, having the king of cups here, there's, in, your intuition is strong and you're following it, that's what I'm saying. You, you're combining the practicality and spirituality together. You're not, you're not logical at work. You're more exuding spirituality and practicality. There's me, there's might be a time when logical is is needed, but there is still a touch of spirituality to it. I think you believe that you don't have to be a specific person to be admired, to be respected. Or you don't have to be this general energy that you have to present yourself at work. That's why I'm saying you're doing your you're doing you. You're doing things that is not common 
to a lot of employees and a lot of your coworkers. You're doing, you're special. You're special with the serendipity. You're special. There's something about you that it's so like different. You have the poise. You have the patience. You have this energy of always looking forward to go to your workload, looking forward to what else that my work can give me, what else. You're always looking forward to go to work because you love your work, okay? You're always looking forward to new projects, to new assignments. You're looking, you're patiently waiting for, for things. Yeah, for sure somebody's going to say here that, oh my God, I don't love my work. I, I, I don't, I'm not excited to go to work. Yeah, sure. You know, I understand that, but I'm tapping into the energies of those people who seems to love their work. Who's always looking forward to go to work. So as far as this, the energy that's coming your way, this. May 2023, I do feel that you're embracing the King of Fire in addition to the King of Cups. You're going to be like vibrant. You're going to be like, you have this extra energy in you. There's a, little, there's a little extra poof there aside from this. Again, you have the heart here. You're the King of Cups here. You are the King of Fire, but then you still have your hearts in your sleeves. This may, it's, it's easy for you to make a decision. It's easy for you to to kind of mix work with pleasure. It's easy for you to have fun and be serious. It's, it seems like it's really complicated. Because that's what I'm saying. You're different. You're unique. That's all I can say. You're unique. Okay? Um... That's it for that work. Nice. That's a good energy there, Libra. Now for Libra with no job. What's coming your way? You have the chariot. Clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. Let me just have a drink a little bit. The tower, the tower, the eight of cups. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the come to the edge. Your hard work is paying off. And knight of wands. <clears throat> This is really a good news, Libra with no job. And I do feel, I do feel with confidence here that there is a job coming your way this, this May 2023. But before I talk about that, let me talk about this Eight of Cups. For a while, you've been sitting on this energy of dissatisfaction, not happy. Of course, who would be happy if you don't have a job, right? So you decided or you are actually working on finding job. You're doing all your best, you know, with this night of wands. You do take action. You look, you go out there, look for job. You go online and look for job, whatever. However you're finding job, you're doing it. You're searching for that job. You're searching for that happiness. And I know finding job is going to make you happy, okay? You're looking for your wish fulfillment. There is an eight cups. You're missing one cup to make it nine of cups. So you're looking for that specific, <coughs> specific cups. One second. Sorry, allergy kicks in. So you're looking for that specific cups. You're searching for that cup that, makes, that will make you happy, okay? So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay, you work so hard looking for a job now, right? Now, this is when it's saying that your hard work is paying off, the tower, okay? <sighs> Kaboom. <laughs> These are beautiful energy. 
I know not a lot of people like the tower, but tower is beautiful. Believe me, it's surprising, but it's beautiful. Okay, and there's and the reason why I said tower is beautiful because there's towers here to correct something. Towers here to make things better. Sometimes it comes in a hard way, but it's for our highest good. Here, I do feel that tower is a surprise. It's gonna shake your. I mean, it's gonna surprise the hell out of you. Okay, sorry for that saying it. You, you're gonna be surprised because there is something this may that's gonna come your way. A job offering. Somebody coming from a uh, an offering coming from a Queen of Pentacles could be you know a Virgo. Somebody that has that owns their business or somebody that cares a position at work. And this person is going to offer you a job or it doesn't have to be. There is this energy of triumph. This chart is about moving forward. This is a successful energy. This is about moving forward and following and getting to your goals. Okay. Finding your happiness. This is it. This is you feel like this is the beginning of it. This is your chance. This is changing destiny. Okay. So I feel that you're going to find a really good job. A job that is going to really shock the hell out of you. That's going to really surprise you. And finally, you feel like whatever hard work you put in is getting paid off. Now with this come to the edge is about taking a leap of faith and i do think that you're gonna take this job you're gonna be jumping on jumping and like who cares i'm gonna jump i'm gonna take this job i want this job i need this job finally job is here that is the energy that i'm getting come, uh, from this come to the edge there's no looking back it's about yeah hit me i'm gonna go jump it's scary it may seem maybe it's a, maybe it's shock it has a shock value to this news that's gonna come your way but you, you're gonna be able to handle it fine and you're gonna feel so confident it's gonna boost your confidence you're gonna feel good about it you're gonna feel like everything is gonna be okay despite that you don't have the job yet or you haven't started yet but you feel like your life is changing your life is moving forward that there is hope, there is this energy of potential success. Okay? So, Chariot, hey, I cross my finger, hopefully you find a job. Maybe the job, I'm hoping that job will arrive to you this May, okay, Libra? Cross our finger. Now let's go to the life reading. What's coming your way? You have the six of air. Clarified by the justice, which is you, Libra. You are justice. You are represented by the justice. Nine of swords in reverse. The hangman. Just to let you know, there's a lot of um, major arcana to this reading. The hermit. The high priestess. And the empress. Just, I'm going to show you the cards later. I have it here in this lower part here. Advice, guidance, and messages from the divine and the universe. You have the message in a bottle. Your dream needs a practical plan. And the judgment. Let's talk about the judgment here in reverse. And we'll do this Nine of Swords upright for now. Okay. And I'm going to read it general because I have a lot of major arcana here. It does not signify, it does not indicate to what specific, to what specific aspect of your life that you're going to be, that you are going through or that it's focusing or that it's talking about. But Try to fit it into your situation. It could be in general, okay? So life it has been stressful for you, Libra. And it hasn't been a joyful energy on a joyful ride for you. 
having a judgment in reverse. It feels like you're in a kind of zombie energy. There's no excitement. There is no fun. There's pain here. There's no... It feels like you are living a life that there's nothing to look forward to. Oh, there's nothing. It's just you're sitting in much pain. You're sitting in much disappointment. You're sitting in much injustice in your life. You feel stuck. You feel alone for some of you. You feel lost. You feel like nothing's progressing in your life. It could be life, it could be job, it could be relationship, it could be anything. But this talks about spirituality. We're talking about one, two, three, four, five major arcana, six major arcanas, okay? The judgment, the hangman, the high priestess, the hermit, the empress, and the justice. I mean, seriously, this is big, Libra, big. The universe is going to be knocking on your door, Libra. Really, seriously. Okay, it's like saying, hey, Libra, I'm going to be playing this horn for you. I'm going to make sure you wake up. Wake up, wake up, wakey, 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 Libra. The justice is here to bring justice into your life. And having all these major arcana is not going to be an easy journey. And this is not just going to apply for this one. I think this is going to be ongoing because they're major arcanas. Okay. When they come, they come big. So justice is here. Justice is here to help you bring balance into your life. To bring fairness into your life. Okay. If there's something that is not fair to your life, then this justice will bring it. And it could come in so many ways. It's either you working on finding that justice, but there is something that's going to be knocking on your head, on your soul and saying, Libra, you got to bring this balance into your life. Yeah, the universe is knocking on your head. God is knocking on your head. Say, Libra, it's time to bring fairness into your life. Because we know we are already exhausted your drain your energy is drained you're you're like done with this you're over with this you want out so say hey libra get up do something with this bring the balance into your life bring the fairness into your life this is your power libra you are the justice in in you are representing justice so you already have this and you can do this. This is your power. Now, to find justice, there is a need to change perception. There is a need to change the way you see things. You know, sometimes it's so hard to change our perception, especially if we're hard-headed people, if we are narrow-minded people, or we only believe in what we believe in. It's hard to change. But sometimes to change the situation, you have to change your mind. You have to change the way you see things. You have to look at it in different perspective, different angle. What am I doing wrong? What am I not do what am I doing right? What am I missing here? What else do I need to learn? What else do I need to know? What else do I need to go through? This is an awakening. This this thing that you're go going to be going through this may is an awakening waking you waking you waking your power waking you, you to new perspectives waking you up and in, in seeing things in a different way yeah like what i'm saying you know checking out other perspectives and together with this hangman Sitting still, being quiet, this is the time when you actually go.
go within and figure things out. What's going wrong? What's going wrong in my life? What, why things are not happening the way I want it to happen? What am I missing? Why I'm not understanding? Why? What? Who am I? Why am I like this? Why my life is not working? Why my life is boring? Why am I not happy? Why and why? This is the time when you turn yourself upside down and say, okay, let me see. Maybe if I put myself upside down, I can see the answer. I can have the answer that I've been asking myself. And so there you are. By putting yourself upside down, you're seeing a different light. And you're doing it quietly and with sincerity. This is the time when you're like, oh, that's what it means. Oh, I should have done the, the other way. I should have picked that or should I have, I should have said that way. I should have not done that. There's a lot of things that you're realizing that you have done I'm not saying it's incorrect or what, but there's something here that you're realizing that whatever you're doing before is not working for you at all or anymore. This is a new page in your life, a new page that it's going to take you to a new realm of your life and you're going to be surprised how amazing it's going to be. Believe me, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Now, High Priestess is here. We're talking about spirituality. We're talking about awakening. This is about awake. When you are being awakened by the universe, by the by the divine, it's also awakening your third eye chakra. It's awakening your intuition. When you tap into, when you tap into your spirituality, when you tap into the deepest part of you, when you're tapping into you energy, it's in, it's you're awakening yourself. This is the time when you're learning things that you're supposed to be learning. You're sensing things that you're supposed to be sensing. Maybe you're discovering that you have the ability, spiritual, you know, some sort of a psychic ability for some of you. But this is also the time when your faith is being strengthened, when your faith in yourself and the faith from divine is being, are being strengthened. When you go through awakening, all your chakras are being opened. I mean, really, really with this much energy here, yes, they're awakening your senses, all your chakra. That's what awakening is about. They're awakening all the things that we don't want to see. When we're being awakened, we see that through the darkness, we see that that is the thing that I've gone through and it's, it caused me pain. And why am I looking to it? Because the divine is saying, you got to solve this problem. You run away from this problem long enough that now you know what? You want to be healed, then you have to look at it. You have to look at your shadow self. You have to look at the life that you live in the dark. Solve it, figure it out. And once you heal that energy, once you look into it and you realize the air of your you know, of your ways, you realize that what you've done wasn't right, that this and this and that. It's going to bring that light. It's going to spark light. And that problem of yours or that situation of yours in the past that you weren't so happy about, that you're not so ecstatic to looking back and deal with that, you're going to be like, uh, okay, it's not going to be fun. But once you dealt with it with courage and determination and confidence and you solve the problem, you heal the problem, you're going to feel good about yourself. You're bringing more light and more light the more you solve problem. And your energy gets lighter and lighter and you're raising your vibration. Then the more you raise your vibration, somehow your third eye chakra and other, and other chakras are being awakened and you're more in touch with the energy within you and surrounding you. Empress. This is the energy that you're going to be leading into when you enter this awakening. 
when you enter the door, a new door of you, the new you. The new you, or I should say, the you, the authentic you, and you're bringing it out into the open. And you realize, oh my goodness, this is me. I did not even realize that I have superpower, you know, that I can do this, that I am smart, that I can think, that I can express my emotion, that I, that I can make things happen, that I'm a beautiful person, that I am good, that that I'm special. Going through the door of awakening is beautiful. Believe me, it's beautiful. Sometimes it's not fun, yes, to go, but then the end part of that journey, it's beautiful. Believe me. That is the surprise that is going to be coming your way. When you leave that darkness you know under the sea it's kind of dark right but when you slowly solve all and heal these windings that you have and somehow you're going to be uplifted and bring out into the open and the light is going to just shine on you and then there's this new perspective like this phone there's message in the, the phone and whatever the message is is going to be your new perspective you're going to be looking life differently Your dreams needs a practical plan. Whatever you're dreaming, Libra, it needs some it needs a touch of logical. I know that we're talking about spirituality here. This is more of the higher energy here but whatever you're dreaming in your life if you dream to be happy if you dream to to be fully embrace this new power you want if you're dreaming to have a power if you're dreaming to be confident if you're dreaming to be successful in life if you're dreaming that makes things everything that in your life would work will work well it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to exceed expectation it's just there it's perfect and it's flowing well if that is your dream then you need to to add that logical stuff with your spirituality Meaning you're putting an action, you're taking steps, but at the same time you're having your spirituality kind of working together as a team. It's not just going to be all spirituality when you move forward. There's always a need to be in touch with reality. There's a need to be in touch with the 3D world, the material world. And then the spirituality is going to go with you, alongside with you, with whatever you do. Your spirit teams are guiding you. Your, your faith is guiding you. Your intuition is guiding you. Everything is guiding you as you are logically and, practic and practically working on your issues in life. Now, the sixth of air is the energy coming your way, Libra. And this is beautiful because this is about transition. This is about changing your life for the better. This is about moving forward, leaving what's no longer working for you in your life and moving forward to something that is going to benefit you. This is change. This is a big change in your life, Libra. Big change. It's change for the better. But like what I said, it's not going to be an easy journey. And this might take months or even years, or it could just be weeks, depending on how dedicated you are in dealing with this awakening, in changing your life, in, in looking into the perspective that the universe wants you to see. It all, it's all depend on you. 
if you really dedicate your time to this awakening, you're going to be surprised how your life is going to turn around. It took me about a year to turn my life around because I really put time to it. And then it kind of lingers a little bit. It trickles kind of like there's still, there's still some triggers coming to me on the second part of the year. And then it kind of deteriorate and it's less and less until when I reach my third year of my spirituality. I'm still learning. But for sure, my life is way different from how I lived then. And this is where this is what I'm, this is where you're being led to. You're being led to enter the new self. Your new, your you. Your you. You're seeing yourself, the empowered self. Because before you are blinded, you're not seeing it right. But now entering this door, you're gonna see who you really are. You're gonna be surprised how amazing you're gonna be remember you're you're gonna be this is the end game for us you're gonna be an empress you're gonna be exuding this divine feminine energy you don't have to be a man or a woman to be this this is just an energy this is somebody more you nurture yourself you take care of yourself loving yourself being compa compassionate being forgiving this is more of emotions and the way you see things with peace and with, with joy and with love. Beautiful. Amazing. Amazing. Embe embrace this journey, Libra. Embrace this journey. So you have the seven of earth, the king of fire, the chariot, and the six of air. Your life is moving forward, Libra. And I think that you might not realize it. Maybe you're against it, but the universe is telling you it's about time to move forward. It's about time to to move forward, to, to do things, to take care of business. It's time for you to stop complaining and it's time to take action because the king of fire is about somebody who takes action. Having the determination to be successful. Now you have a goal. Now the spirituality is enhancing you to embody the king of fire to, to take action. The, the, the goal for this is to attain and be the divine feminine, the empress. But you're going to need the energy of the king of fire to push through and make it happen. Because... The king of fire or the divine masculine is the one that pushes the energy. And the divine feminine is the receiving energy. So to get to the feminine energy, the empress, the divine feminine, is to, to embody the energy of fire. To embody the energy of this masculine energy, which is the fire. Fire is the action taker to make this move forward to make your life better there's gonna need some planning beautiful gift from the divine this may uh may 2023 divine no. gift from the divine in the universe for may 2023 creativity baby slash kids i think it's getting dark now <laughs> financial abundance Final decision and healing. Wow. I'll put healing here in the center. So, Libra. Healing is the main focus here this May. For sure. But in addition to healing, there is some decision that you have to make. In a lot of aspects of your life. Because when you are being awakened... All aspect of your life is being tapped into your finance, your your job, your relationship, and so on. So there's a lot of decision that you have to make this May to 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 that that will lead you to healing. Financial abundance is here. Divine is giving some financial assistance. There are some things that you're gonna be 
working on that something that's creative and maybe you're creating a baby you're gonna make some baby this may uh, the other zodiac also is the month for them to make babies <laughs> And uh, some of you, you're going to have baby, you're going to deliver baby. Or some of you, you're going to find out that you're pregnant. And some of you who who is adopting, maybe this is the month that's saying you're going to have the, the success on adopting a baby. All right. This is your reading, my dear Libra. I thank you so much. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Bye-bye.